I am the door, the only way, the gate through which you must enter and to reach my kingdom. A door means there are keys given, but only to those who walk with me. Mysteries will be revealed to those who walk in obedience. I open the door to those who walk by faith. Since I am the door, the portal through which you must enter to know the mysteries I will show to you, I provide the keys necessary to open this door, this portal, so that things not of this world can be revealed to you. I wish to give you further revelation as to the keys you have been given, my beloved ones. Keys open and keys shut. There are keys of knowledge, and keys can be applied for greater wisdom to be granted. If you receive my words and hide my commandments within you, if you walk in the fear of the Lord, if you will be open to my wisdom and pray for understanding and knowledge, it will be granted to you. Your free will choices utilize keys in the spirit, that either open doors or mysteries to my kingdom, or cause them to remain shut. There is a law of cause and effect in this life. Every thought, word or action has an effect, sometimes you will see it manifest in the physical, natural world but there will always be an effect in the spiritual realm. Remember, how I have talked to you about paradigm shifts. The power that is available to you through your obedience and faith in me can only be understood if you understand that my presence in and through you will alter everything around you. My presence in you shifts frequencies that are of a lower nature into a higher one, resulting in an effect that you will soon realize more fully, once I completely indwell you. Permission is granted to my righteous ones to take the keys, using my authority, and walk through me the door, to achieve a greater maturity, a greater revelation into another dimension and higher frequency. This will release my glory in this realm. It will bring truth where there is darkness. It will set captives free from the bondage of the lower realm and cause heaven and my kingdom to come to earth, as it is in heaven. It is by faith that you take these keys and gain access to things previously unknown. I will not force a choice on any soul, and therefore, you must freely make the choice to stand on the solid ground of my word, fully submitting to me in every aspect of your life, in order that I then will move on your behalf, as your will aligns with my will. When this alignment occurs, the impossible becomes possible and I then bring the supernatural into the natural in and through my instruments of righteousness. When you walk by faith and not by sight, I do the work here, in and through you, that you were purposed and sent to do. There is also a frequency or vibrational shift to this walk of faith that occurs in your very cells, as you give permission for your temples to come back into alignment with your Creator. Energy and great power are released in the natural realm with this shift when you learn to apply my spiritual blood sacrifice, pure Ruth unveiled in these temples you reside in. You were created in our image, made of flesh and blood, but yet spirit. Your spirit took on a vehicle, just as my spirit one with my father took on a vehicle of flesh and blood to show you the way. I am the way. I came to free you from the curse of the fall of man and I took on the fleshly form in order to have my flesh die and then rise, so that my blood, which is the blood that carries life, could be applied to the mercy seat for you. By doing this, I made a way for you, who are under the curse to be set free by the truth that I embodied and manifested. Here is truth the life is in the blood, and your DNA is divinely designed, because you are made in our image. When I rose and my blood covered the mercy seat, Access was granted to you a way made through truth, through me who is perfect truth to free you from the curse and to show Satan that all who are made in our image and who choose to align themselves with me, will be set free. I overcame death, not just death of the flesh, but spiritual eternal death. I was the example of eternal life, transforming from corruptible to incorruptible. When the fall occurred, the light of my love and my truth was greatly diminished on the earth but especially in my creation, those who we had made. The temples made of flesh no longer completely resonated with their creator on a cellular level, and the light and truth that I am was not able to be fully activated and functional in this realm, as it was meant to be. There was a corruption, and because of sin, this prevented man from operating in his fullest potential. Truth was veiled and deception entered and grew. Satan knew that if he could corrupt through sin, and then mix serpent seed with the blood of those in my image, my blood which holds the truth and is the life, 
man would walk in darkness and never find the way which is me. He is manipulating the blood of life now, even more than ever before, furiously and aggressively, as artificial intelligence is being implemented everywhere. His goal is to destroy all those made in my image the seed of Messiah in my people. This is why I came in the flesh to reveal truth, that eternal life is in my blood, the blood-bought sacrifice, and all who believe in me as their Redeemer will have eternal life. Use these keys of knowledge to reveal this truth in your own temple. I am my word and my word is truth. Therefore, when you apply the word, my truth and my blood in every aspect of your life, changes occur not just in the flesh, but in your spirit. It is in this way that you bring yourself back into alignment with me, activating the DNA I have placed within you, that carries my light and my truth and which shatters all darkness. Applying my blood to the door of your heart, walking in my truth and my statutes, allows the brilliance of my love to flood every cell of your being, and transform that which was carnal and dead to that which is alive eternally. It is in this way that I remain enthroned on your heart and nothing evil can enter in. Another key to understanding and knowledge, is to then implement this revelation to all aspects of your life. By frequent repentance, seeking me and living in obedience, your application of these truths consistently will then literally transform you on a cellular level. As you continue to stand on truth, implementing it, you move from glory to glory. This is known as transcendence. You are leaving a lower frequency and shifting higher, closer and closer to your Creator. There is a great deal of power and authority that is released when one of my children walks in this way. I release to you who are walking this way all that is required for your journey with me here. The higher you choose to come into intimacy with me, the more I release to you. The Father of Lights gives good gifts to his children and the storehouses of heaven are open. This spiritual discipline and application in your life will continue to allow the release of blessings and gifts during your journey here, until I come for my first fruits collectively. Your transformation is an ongoing process of continual sanctification and purification by refinement, and a constant free will choice to walk in complete faith, standing on my promises. I have told you before a moment by moment mikveh is required, an ongoing repentance and renewing in your temple. As you stand on me, the rock and your solid ground, every thought, word or action and its effect will then be just as I have designed it, for my glory alone. It is in walking this way that you shift the paradigm, the dynamics all around you and all you come in contact with, although you are at this time not fully aware of the results of this shift. You are taught to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be circumspect and prayerful about each and everything you say and do and your destiny will unfold before you, as you come into harmony with my will for you. I tell you that you must be born again, and even this has many layers. This rebirth I speak about must be something you commit to each day, in every moment. I only said what my father said and did what I saw my father do. Are you not to do the same? I gave the example while on earth. Walk in my footsteps. Take up your cross, and follow me. Trust me and obey. Manifest my presence here on earth. Glorify our Father in heaven in every breath. Love as I have loved you. Forgive as I forgive. Have mercy and mercy will be shown to you. Pray for your enemies and those who persecute you. Freely give, and it will be given to you pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give to you. Be holy as I am holy. If my impact on earth as the Son of God can have the effect I had when I walked this earth, imagine what the effects will be when all my remnant walk in this way, fully glorifying our Father in heaven. It is then you will remember my saying you will do all these things and more. Collectively, my presence in all my chosen throughout the world will change the world forever. It is not only a personal transformation but a transformation of the earth, as heaven invades. What you are seeing now in the natural play out is not your reality. It is an illusion, designed by Satan to deceive you into believing lies, and to prevent you from walking as a son or daughter of the Most High. If you continue to live in sin and your focus is on the darkness, judgment and hopelessness, that is all you will know. Continue to commit sin and you are the bondservant of sin. 
So you see, when you choose to serve me with all your heart, soul, mind and strength in faith, this allows the use of the keys I have given you to then be able to perceive a better way, my way, my design for all that is happening, all that I allow. My remnant have their complete focus on me and the fulfillment of my word, and therefore, are looking towards the things of heaven, of home, and not of things of the earth, which is soon to pass away. My desire is that all would be filled with the joy and peace I give and the knowing that you are the generation which will see my soon return. I will bring glory and revival in the hearts of my people, and the darkness that I will allow now to rule over the lands will only be permitted for a short season. Then, the whole world will know, every knee will bow and every tongue confess that I am the Lord. You will see this day and rejoice as the ending for my beloved is not one of despair and hopelessness, but rather a transformation into a new beginning. The eternal shift from mortal to immortal, flesh to spirit, as I move you from glory to glory. I cannot stress to you enough. Be so very careful what your eyes see and your ears hear as fewer and fewer across the earth speak my truth. The darkness will continue, as I said for a time, but truly I tell you, I am about to do something in your days that you would not believe even if I were to tell you. I will set the world on fire with my love manifested through you, my chosen ones. You will run and not grow weary, you will see the rewards for your faithfulness, you will have recompense for all the enemy has stolen from you, and I will heal you and prosper you. You will see your enemies defeat, as you perform signs and wonders in my name. This day is upon you my loves. This is why your positioning remains so crucial. Do not look to the left or to the right, only look up. Your redemption comes. The king is jealous for his beloved, and I am coming for my first fruits. While judgment by famine, pestilence, disease, war, and the beast system rage all around you, I will hide you in the shelter of my wing. My angels surround you on all sides, and no harm will come to my sealed my anointed ones. My grace is enough for you and is preparing you for what is now here. Pray to walk in your full measure of faith and for wisdom discerning what I am speaking to you, and it will be given. Pray to be used mightily, and it shall be done. Greater is he that lives in you, than he that lives in the world. Although it appears that the enemy is prevailing, there is a reason this is occurring. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent take it by force. It is time too for my remnant to take their full authority and position in me and use the keys which I have provided. As I have said before, there is a great separation occurring, as the winnowing is taking place. All those who refuse to obey me and seek truth, which has always been available, will now be separated from those who are closest to my heart. This is my design, so do not lose heart. The key is your perspective. Set your mind on things above, not on things of this world, and watch what I will do. Truly you are in a season like no other, and you have been chosen for this time of now. Walk with the faith that moves mountains, and you will receive the crown of life. My kingdom is not for the faint of heart. My kingdom is for the overcomers, the strong and courageous in spirit, who worship me in spirit and in truth. It belongs to the meek and the humble the contrite of heart and the servants, for it is you, who the world scorns and rejects, ridicules and mocks, that will rule the nations as kings and priests. I will bring the haughty low, and the low I will raise to positions of honor. I will bring recompense where it is due and truth will reign. So rise up my men and women of valor, rise up and use your keys. It is time. Yeshua. Sure.